The Mass Life Sciences Center grant for uh, this vector manufacturing facility uh, will supply the funds in order to build and uh, initially outfit the equipment uh, for a manufacturing facility that can make a new class of medicines. Uh, these medicines are medicines that are uh, ways to teach the body how to make the medicine for itself. Okay, so this is a, a new way of, of thinking about how we are going to deliver medicines to people. Traditionally, what we do, as you know, is that we manufacture a medicine according to some very stringent standards called GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices, and uh, we then package them into pills and, and uh, syringes and all of that and, and deliver them to people. This is now a different way of thinking about the way you make medicine is to make a vector that then goes into the body and teaches the body how to make the medicine that it needs. There's a whole new resurgence of interest in this kind of medicines and there are very few facilities that are capable of making them in accordance with good manufacturing practices. And in fact, there's no other facility like it in Massachusetts. So uh, it's quite a nice uh, resource for uh, the community uh, of biotech companies as well as researchers here at, uh, at the UMMS. There are a whole number of projects that are coming to that critical point where they can be tested and ultimately delivered to people. There's been a lot of research in um, the ability of vectored therapies to either prevent diseases or treat diseases in animals. Uh, we're now at that critical junction where uh, they're ready to move into people, uh, both in the clinical trial phase as well as hopefully subsequently into full commercial uh, production. And so uh, that's exactly what this facility will be able to do. Um, it will be able to make the material that is ready to be delivered to people. So we have a number of investigators here at the medical school, as well as in the greater Boston and Massachusetts uh, area that uh, have therapies that are ready to be tried in people. Uh, and uh, this is where they're gonna hopefully be able to come to have that material made so that it can be uh, tested first in people and then commercially made uh, after the clinical trials.